plus 15% attack speed for every unique weapon you have, plus 5 damage. Combine that with say a ghost axe, plus 1% damage for every 20 enemies you kill, and you've got a beautiful looking idiot. But this can stack up, and I never realized before the axe like swings like that, so you actually hit a lot of enemies at once. But we'll take a little bit more damage for now, and I guess we'll just take another one of those just because we can. We'll get extra attack speed for picking a rock. I am going to save the gentle alien. And uh, there's another ghost axe, so we'll be able to upgrade that. We'll take a stick for now. I do kind of mostly just want the axes for now because they will give me extra damage, so that's going to be important. But them by themselves are pretty strong. And I killed a tree with an axe. How fitting. I'm kind of hoping I save far enough away that the uh, rocks don't even actually kill much anymore. But we'll just keep going with the axes because axes are going to add damage. I guess let's take another plus two damage there. I'm going to combine these two into one. I'm going to take the stick. I'm going to take that. So now we have tons of attack speed plus only 1% damage so far. And I didn't really realize we started with negative 30 attack speed. So we need two unique weapons just to break us even. But I re-rolled and there's more unique weapons. So we'll just roll with that for now. Plus this only needs to kill 18 enemies now and it gets a 1% boost. I really should almost just be using it for now to get a little bit of boost. But by the end of this, it'll carry its own weight. Because it does swing and hit a lot of enemies at once. So once we start getting big clusters like that, yeah, it's going to kill a whole bunch of idiots. Even if it doesn't add a lot of percent damage it's still going to be a really good weapon we'll take plus five percent attack speed then we'll take a spear and a dagger and we're going to wait on that might end up taking a fertilizer that we haven't started harvesting yet okay we're just going to roll with this but we're up to a 35 percent attack speed already the spear uh, is one shotting things already okay the spear is going to be good, but it's also going to uh, take away from the axe because it has the most range. But that's okay. We could probably even get enough luck to push it back into the positive. I don't think it's really going to hurt not having luck, but I do enjoy it a lot. Wave 4, shockingly, was shockingly easy. I guess I'll take some harvesting now. It's not really going to hurt anything. Uh, we are going to need lots of armor for this, so we'll take armor. Spawn more trees, more enemy, more damage. We can have a level 2 rock, maybe. Does that matter? I guess it does. Uh, items are going to be cheaper. We're going to save the spear to stack up for a double spear. And we're already doing quite a bit of damage. So I don't think we're going to struggle with damage here. Later on, we might struggle a bit because we got to get really close to idiots. Though the spear keeps us at a pretty safe distance. I do sort of need to get rid of one of my axes though because I could get another 15% attack speed fairly easily. Mm, so far so good. We are getting extra enemies now so that'll be extra money and experience for us and our first crate. We have negative luck and we managed to get a weapon crate. Hopefully as well as something amazing. A landmine spawns doing 10 damage, 7% crit chance. Oh, we do actually have a plus 7% damage thing. So if I buy this, we can combine those two. Now we have a level 3 one of these. 35 damage needs to kill 16 idiots before it does its thing. So we'll combine those also into a level 2 spear. I do want to hold on to the wings because speed and range is really good. I will probably take a lightning shiv because that's good damage and projectiles. And I will also take harvesting next round and also the rubber ducky now. I haven't historically liked builds like this, but I like this one. They're going to spawn right on top of a mine. I don't even know if it's worth trying to get any luck right now. Like we can get it back into positive, but I'm not sure if it's worth it to try and overcome negative 30. But I never know what I'm doing. I theorize. My theories are often proven wrong, but I kind of enjoy the process because I'm a masochist. And for some reason, I always decide to try these stupid ideas in the middle of the night. Though when it fails, I'm determined to keep going and I don't sleep. Wave 6 is done. Uh, plus attack speed, range, we lose armor. I'll take that. It's not that hard to put armor back. That's the kind of thing I need at other times, so we'll take this. 15% attack speed, yeah, why not? Uh, lots of harvesting going around. We're going to start sacrificing our armor. No, that's okay. We'll take some of that. I'll get this next time. We'll take some more uh, harvesting here. Oh, look at all this good stuff. So we're going to save glass cannon because I do want that. Uh, we'll lose max HP, which is fine. We'll take armor and dodge. It's probably easy to put HP back on. I always sacrifice HP because it really is easy to find more of it. Look how far my spear goes now. It's like a ranged weapon anyway. I never realized how far those went. I guess all my weapons get a little bit further. I would also like one of the broadswords or whatever they are. We don't play with those enough and everyone appreciates a good broadsword. I did get hit by something just out of laziness but so far this is a really really good build. It'll obviously get harder, and we're still playing on easy mode, but I wouldn't want to make it too hard for myself. Ow. Uh, plus 12% damage, sure, why not? Plus 25% damage, we lose armor. Actually, I kind of want this first. We need that range and speed. Mm, it's tempting to get that, but I'm still going to. We're going to lock the glass cannon for later. That's mm, kind of nice. Yeah, we'll take that. We do have a 22% damage increase. Uh, I don't know if that's coming from my axes at this point. Some of it is obviously, but not all of it. But the more those axes we have, uh, the more chance we have of getting extra percentage damage. And I like the extra percentage damage, especially when we can one-shot those big idiots. Mm, that is like killing everything. Around and around and around we go. Killing everything, stabbing. That spear is really nice though, because it goes through everything. And I'm pretty sure like it pierces, not very wide, but it pierces through many enemies. I do still need a little bit of 
of armor because uh, we can actually die really quickly as I found out while I was scratching my face. Mm, money's going to be a bit of a struggle here, but we did get 250. Uh, look at all the fun options, plus 12% damage. Yeah, we're we'll probably at another 25% damage, but minus one armor, so we're probably going to have to try and fix that. Probably should buy a ghost flint too. That will help us along the way. We'll get rid of a rock because rocks are stupid. <laughs> we lose another armor doing that, but we get a ghost splint. The charcoal is actually something I should be paying. I just ignore that at a default because I never use those. Oh, there's a level 2 ghost splint. Uh, enemies have a 10% chance to explode for 29 damage. Yep, we're going to get that eventually. So we'll slowly stack up damage and attack speed just from killing idiots. Though the spear is doing most of the heavy lifting. Rounds like this are great for getting those power-ups though because look at all the enemies coming in. The axes and little shivvy thing are really going to help. They're going to kill a lot of different idiots here. Come on, no item box there. That's fine. Can't win them all. Look at how many things we're killing this is fun so note to self after this wave get hp and armor i just realized we've got a lot of good choices so far purple upgrades and we have like negative luck so i don't think i am going to increase luck anymore i don't think it's going to make a difference i know it had gives us a chance to find rare items but we're finding lots of rare items with negative luck and we killed a lot of things this round 455 dollars wow look at all that damage Oh yeah, I was supposed to do the other, whatever. 16% damage. Oh, I guess life still probably wouldn't hurt either. We'll take that. We'll uh, recycle that for a better version of itself. Uh, enemies have a 10% chance to explode. We lose harvesting, but I like explosions better. Uh, baby elephant can be good if that would actually do damage. That's kind of tempting, but I just don't really need to help. Our attack speed's already at plus 50%. Well, we can actually get, uh, well, we can straight up replace this for a level 3 version of itself. 42% chance to gain one material when killing with a crit. And a level 3 spear, which is going to be 114 damage yes i know i didn't add any hp or armor like i said i would but i saw damage and i took it but we don't really need armor that badly if we kill everything in one hit and we don't necessarily kill everything in one hit but we're closer to it so we're closer to being safe and actually not needing armor therefore i don't need to make excuses for myself but we are going at a pretty good range the spears really thinning things out far away and when they do get close everything else hits them and then they certainly die and i think we'll probably get a pretty good item for winning with this character i'm sure it's going to be something quite good probably some kind of sword or something something so i'm excited about that because we can utilize that moving forward probably gonna need a little bit more attack speed or something though like we're killing things but i'm used to like not having enemies on the screen anymore so this is a strange feeling for me i don't want engineering i do want armor i do want some life steal so we have a 1 in 20 chance to heal 1 hp that's fine okay i'm gonna sell the lightning ship for a chopper level 2 i'm gonna take the alien eyes uh they shoot every three seconds doing 24 damage the more health we have the more damage they do there's a hammer which is really big damage Oh, and it's got good lifesteal, so we're definitely going to take that moving forward. Uh, I'm also going to take the boxing gloves for knockback. That way things hopefully don't get too, too close to me. We'll see if that works. Uh, these guys are pretty slow and heavy. They don't move back super far anyway. But as long as we got the damage to kill them before they survive for too long, we'll be fine. Everyone needs to die in a hurry. It is a strange feeling having to be very close to everything to do damage. Which is why we're going to need that HP and armor and some lifesteal and stuff. Probably going to get rid of one of my axes soon because we definitely don't need any more damage stacking. We get like 1% for every 16 enemies killed, so that would add a little bit, but not a ton. We're better off just being able to actually survive and kill enemies now. Not that we're having any trouble doing that, but things are not going to get any easier as it goes on. We're only in wave 11. And I'm not going to get any more awake as this goes on, because I cannot drink any more coffee. Plus 10 harvesting sounds nice. So does plus 3 armor, because we're actually at negative armor and I didn't realize again. So I'm going to get rid of the level 2 ghost axe. Because our damage is already at 90%, so we'll take a hammer. Oh, and I guess we'll take a second hammer. That's going to give us a level... Uh, I actually also want this. We're going to lose a bit of range so I get damage and HP, which I need. Oh, and then also the hammer anyway, so it's 162 damage. Uh, then there's some other things here I definitely like. The wheat is the one I'm keeping. All right, so that hammer isn't going to go off very often, but it is going to hit very hard. And it's not going to have a lot of range at the same time. The spear is really an oddity there because look how far it goes. Mm, so far, so good. I don't know if we're one-shotting the big guys currently, but we're killing them quick enough that they don't linger around for a long time. And that's the best part of this. Our damage and attack speed is just going to continually go up and up and up as this goes on. You could definitely stack a build like this in all sorts of fun, weird ways and get tons of ridiculous damage out of it. We are 31 HP. I'm not really sure how we got there, but I'm not going to ask any questions. I assume it was just part of our... Why did this go up to 32? What do we have that's doing that? Do I want more lifesteal? I kind of do, but I rolled anyway. 7% crit chance it is because now we have 14 crit chance. Okay, we're going to take wheat. Uh, alienize is tempting to get again. Do we want that? No, let's just stick to our weapon weapons. So we're going to have a level 3 chopper now. So it's got 4% lifesteal. Okay, everything is 4% lifesteal. Defective steroids are something I want, though. 
We did lose some attack speed. We only have 85% attack speed. Uh, we're going to lock the Cyclops worm and get back to work. We only have one level 2 weapon left at this point. I didn't realize that. Hammer's up to 175 damage. I wonder how high that's going to go. I think it just feels weird here because we can't attack enemies from like across the map. Normally we clear the whole map by being able to attack everywhere. I can only kill what's close to me. So I feel weaker than I normally am, but I'm probably just as strong. It's all just an illusion. Or that's what I'm going to tell myself to keep my confidence extra high. Okay, I get hit by a Viking guy there. Uh, we lost 9 HP I think so we're gonna be okay well not if we get hit by too many more of them though we can also just kind of sit ourselves in the corner if need be because then things have to come through all of our damage to get to us and they can't okay I want another 12% damage uh interesting stuff there I don't know if I want to lose any more other stuff I don't think that's worth it mastery I do want plus six damage combined with everything else that's gonna add up to a lot that I might actually take because I think that's really quick Oh, and look at Mammoth. Okay, we're definitely holding on to that. Plus 15 damage. Oh, plus enemies have a 10% chance to explode for 50. That was all good finds, considering you have minus 20 luck. The game is stupid for giving us this stuff. It's gonna make it too easy. Uh, definitely got hit by something. Not sure what it was. It really, really hurt, though. Still probably gotta add some HP at some point. Like I said, I think our damage is okay, so HP is gonna be the tough one. But then again, we'll probably get a plus 9 HP bonus at the end. It's those little red dots. They're the ones, because they I can't kite them around or anything. They're just going where they're going and it sucks when I can't manipulate where they're going. I just have to kind of deal with them as they come. I'm also really good at making up excuses, I've just realized. So whatever, just we're done. Definitely don't want that. Uh, I want more than three max HP. That's tempting. Give me HP or, or don't. Six max HP it is. How's our armor doing? Three. Well, we have a damage, so we're going to take damage. Okay, that's going to take our hammer from 202 to 224. Plus, there's all these other fun damage upgrades waiting for us, too. We'll be fine. Don't worry. We've got lots of damage. Actually, even our basic ghost flint is doing 122. I guess the other part of it, too, is we're not really getting a lot of set bonuses when we have six unique weapons. you got to stack the same types to get those sort of set bonuses. I would love if we could stop getting hit by red dots. Absolutely love it. That's me talking to my brain, by the way. I'm not just voicing that out into nowhere. It's really up to me to stop touching the red dots like that. Ow. That. Okay. Go around them. Go around them. Okay. We're under control again. Just stop touching red dots. Uh, that's, uh, okay. Uh, this is getting stressful. Why are there so many red dots everywhere? Do they fire at you or do they just fire randomly? Uh, there's a lot of red dots. I don't know why this is so stressful. Can I just get less red dots, please? More pickup range. I kind of want that. I know we'll lose some dodge. I won't miss it. Uh, at this point, I probably want max HP. I don't want those. I want items that are going to sort of help me stay alive a little bit. I need help. So, of course, we're not really going to find anything that's going to help us. So, oh, okay, we get a level 4 one of these, I guess. We can afford that by one whole dollar. But that does 188. 1% damage for every 12 enemies you kill. We already have 100% extra damage. I need another 4 or 5 armor. Then I would feel better. Actually, this may not be so bad as long as the red dots aren't showing up too much. We just need to kill the brain, guys. Kill the brains, we'll be okay. This is definitely tricky because we're definitely doing tons of damage. It's just we're lacking armor and like just raw intelligence. I just continually walk into things I shouldn't. But if it's just regular enemies like this, it's really not that bad. Just really avoid the, the guys turning red and we're mostly okay. We are up to 48 HP, so we're doing well there. We just need some armor to help uh, nullify when we do get hit a little bit because they really, really, really hurt. Mm, so far, so good. Though this wave is much easier than the last one just because there's no red dots flying at us constantly. Plus 15% XP gain? Yeah, why not? Plus 3% lifesteal would put us up to... Yeah, I probably need that. Don't want any of that. Uh, the armor we will take. That's an easy choice. We can lose 3% damage. We only have 102% damage now. Could take another 6 damage. That's very expensive, but kind of funny all at the same time. Uh, maybe also this one. Plus 5 crit, plus 5 dodge. I know I said I wanted items that would help keep me alive, but if the game doesn't give them to me anyway, there's not really much I can do. We're going to get a level 4 thief stagger. That's going to be a 60% chance to gain materials when killing an enemy with a crit, and there's a 60% chance of critting, and it's 109 damage. I could live with those odds, so this will be alright. We did lose a little bit of range there, but range isn't really our thing here. All I know is that, uh, yeah, those little guys are the ones that need to die. The ones that fire bullets everywhere. They're actually going to be my new target. Nothing else bothers me except for those things. So every time they show up, we're definitely going to seek them out and kill them before they start firing red dots everywhere. I wish I was, like, heat-seeking missiles for them specifically right now, but we're still gonna hunt them down. Normally I aim for the brain things first because they're usually more dangerous. Right now they're not really. Well, everything's moderately dangerous. I don't think this round is gonna be a money maker either. You gotta kill lots of little enemies to make them money. Okay, where are those little brain guys? You die. Everyone die. 
I also need to remember I gotta stay reasonably close to things to actually hurt them. That's kind of a part where I'm falling down, because normally I avoid enemies. Alright, 9 max HP? Yes. Where's all my swords and stuff? That's kind of fun. 57% lifesteal. I'm gonna trade the chopper out for that, because they're very similar items. And now I have lifesteal. Hmm, maybe a stacking luck would have been helpful, because look at my choices. They're not very great. I mean, I do have 92% attack speed and 104% damage, so we're not hurting anywhere. But I still want a big sword to hit people with. We'll still find one, I believe. This wave's easy so far. Those guys are quick, but I'm quicker. My attack speed is uh, kind of stupid, so yeah, they're just going to really struggle to get anywhere near me. Just keep this dabbing away. And the red dots are starting up again, but I am more aware of them now, so I can, well, I can see them when they ram into my face. This will be fine. I just need to remember to get in there into the middle of things. Yeah, see, this is where I thrive, really, because I have lifesteal and I need to actually kill things too, so I need to be right in the <laughs> busyness of it all. Okay, well, we didn't exactly kill everything, but we got 522. I don't want that. Don't really want that. What do we got for armor and stuff? HP regeneration is probably actually smart. There's also a circular saw. I might take that because I don't know if I want this anymore. I don't know if it's doing a lot because it has pretty limited range. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the ghost flint. I'm going to buy the circular saw. Probably also going to take this. Max HP, damage, armor, speed. That's a good one for this build. There's a spirit level 3, so I'll upgrade that to a spirit level 4 next round. But now I have a circular saw. It's only level 2, but I think it's really, really strong. So if we get that to level 3 or 4, all the better. I wonder if we can just hold still. Can we do that? The brain thing doesn't get killed if we... Ooh, that was scary. Okay, we got to kill the brain things. They will turn the uh, idiots red, and that makes them fast and dangerous. Uh, making our way through the mobs of idiots we might have to stay close to the trees just for healing <laughs> we'll see how this goes maybe the upgrades where we spawned in extra enemies wasn't a wise choice this time around but i always get greedy and go that's more that's more kills for us that's more experience and materials now, i'm not wrong but if it kills us then it kind of has the opposite effect of what we're going for but so far this is okay i just gotta remember to stay right on that stabbing range of enemies like right here bad upgrades 12 percent damage uh six hp is probably more important there is a level four spear 250 56 damage and it's got some range 10 percent chance for enemies to explode that's probably pretty good uh no uh also note all that stuff probably no to this stuff really starting to appreciate how good luck actually is okay we'll take some hp then and i guess N nothing else we'll just save our 337 dollars for next time i didn't realize it was the boss already all right well we're gonna deal with the boss slowly uh, we're just going to avoid the red dots that are always the bane of my existence. He's firing less... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, there's usually more red dots. But we got to stay close to him. There we go. Right in stabbing distance. Now he's going to go for a little run, which is going to make it more difficult for us, especially with everything going on. I feel like it's harder than it normally is. Is that just because of my build, or am I just stupid? I guess that's kind of the same thing either way, isn't it? Okay, I want to kill Brain Boy down there. I want to go for this tree for some reason, even though it's round 20. Okay, I just want to get this over with, because I want to see what kind of item we get. Spider, 12% damage, 5% attack speed for every unique weapon we have. So it's basically a mini version of this entire character in item form. 